told you, she doesn't want to see you, so just get lost, will you? Oh, Toy, come on, just give me five minutes to explain. <laughs> five minutes? Whatever you've done to it, it's going to take way longer than that. Well, at least let me try instead of standing out here. No, sorry, you had your chance, you blew it. Leanne! Leanne, come on, this is getting us nowhere! Right, are you going to tell me what's happened or do I have to wait for him to tell me, along with the rest of the street? Oh, no, everything's fine, everything's great. Except he forgot to mention one tiny little detail. Which was? He's married. Yeah, I'll stand out here all day if I have to. You're going to have to talk to me at some point. Yeah, we'll see about that. Married? Ah, what the... Yeah, next time it'll be this on your head. Oh. Oh. Well, go on then, say it. You tell me so. Once again, Leanne, you've made a total mug of yourself. Oh. Lee, I am so sorry. No, don't, don't, because I'm barely holding it together as it is. You know, it tells me that everything's going to be all right, that I'm the one, and this time it's all going to be fine, and then I find out that he's got some other woman tucked away at home. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm the other woman. Oh, come here. Hey. Oh, my God, he's well fit. Yeah, he's also about my age. Hey, what are you doing on my phone? I'm just looking at your matches on that dating app. Hang on, she's a woman. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you even specified who you're looking for? Not really. Thought it'd be a bit unfriendly. Oh, great. Auntie June has gone for the scattergun approach to dating. Well, in case you didn't realise, it's all about the person, not the gender these days. Well, I'll be sure to bear that one in mind. Let's have a look. Yeah. Can't snoop on my phone. Hey, also, you've not even told us how your last date went. Oh, gave him half an hour and he bored the pants off me. Not literally. Said I was going to the loo and did a runner. Ouch. Hmm. I might just knock it on the head. No, don't let one dodgy date put you off. Yeah, exactly. Your dream guy might be one right swipe away or whatever it is you have to do. I might give it one more date. Can I pick this time? No, we're meeting Paula, remember? Hey, what for? I'll have to go through all the court case stuff for tomorrow. She's going to tell us who she's got as a character witness. Come on. See you later. Good luck finding Mr Perfect. Come on, girls. You were out early. Yeah, well, one's a clear mess. Hey, Ali, when you've grabbed your shower, can you head over to the bistro and open up for us, please? Thanks. Yeah, why well, can't you? Because we've been invited to a wine tasting at the suppliers. Fine. Why can't Ryan do it? Well, aside from the fact that he's still in his pit, I think it'd be good for you. Take your mind off things for a bit. Look, I'm leaving you in charge because I know I can trust you. But do us a favour and be nice to the customers. Show them a bit of that bedside manner. Call us if you need anything. Mm -hmm. Might be too smashed to answer, of course. Or is that mum just leaving? Ah, oh, wanted to try in this. Don't mind, Tom. Oof. Oh, don't mind if I borrow a day. I'm meeting Bethany later. I need some clean. Oh, so you thought you'd just go into my room and not be soft, did you? Not being funny, mate. It looks better on me. Ryan, you better put it back. I'm not even joking. All right. Keep your hair on. God. That's what families did anyway. Share things. No, don't touch my stuff, OK? Blimey. Thought you'd be less stressy after the inquest, but more of a moody Judy than before. Yeah, I'm not sleeping all, okay? And you're not the only one. So do something about it. Like what? You, you're a doctor, aren't you? Describe yourself something. So they're taking it out on me. No one. I called everyone she worked with at the council, and conveniently, they're all in meetings tomorrow. <sighs> Even the cleaner. Blame me nerve after everything she's done for that lot. But I don't get it. Why are they all turning their backs on her? Well, people get funny about fraud cases in case the finger gets pointed at them. Yeah, still don't give them the right to wash their hands of her. <clears throat> I don't mean to stick my neb in, but I could always get our Kirky to put a word in for her. <laughs> Kirk? Well, he's the local mascot. He could turn up in his Buzz of the Bee costume. Oh, yeah, because they'd really take him serious then, Beth. Ideally, it just needs to be somebody with a bit more uh, professional standing. Well, I, I could ask Brian, but I doubt whether his deputy head would give him the time off. Oh, it's great, that is. I'm going to be seeing Sally in a couple of hours. What I'm going to say, sorry, little baby, he's too busy watching the backs to give her monkeys about you. Ah, Moira. Oh, Dr Neeson. Oh. What am I like? Calling you doctor when you're not actually practising. Well, my suspension's over in a couple of weeks, so... Mm. Still won't be fully qualified, though. Right, whatever. 
Uh, listen, I've got a favour to ask you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just I've been doing this research paper, you know, to keep me handing. Only the thing is, I've left some of my notes in my old office, so I was hoping you could let me in and get them. Uh, sorry, can't help you. Well, it'll literally take two minutes, OK? Look, I know it's not strictly kosher. Uh, strictly but... doesn't really cover it. Which is why I was going to offer you a free glass of Prosecco at the bistro as Robert's left me in charge. Thing is, we are talking about a very serious breach of protocol. Yeah, well, I'll even throw a starter in. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to help, but I have to consider the ethics of the situation. And a main course. Five minutes. Not a word to anyone. Hey, excuse me. Where do you think you're going, madam? Uh, into work. Good evening. I thought you'd have been at home resting. Exactly. I'm fine, honestly. Yeah. And even if I wasn't, I'd much prefer to be at work rather than sat at home. It just keeps my mind off everything. Yes, well, if you feel even remotely tired, you're going home. No arguments. That's her, not you. Oh, my God, that's not it, is it? What? The chemo. No. It's a kale and spinach avocado surprise. Daniel made it for me. Mm. I wouldn't put it down the bog, let alone my gob. <laughs> it's one of my complimentary therapies. Be sure you use this this. I'll keep hold of all the receipts that you spend, won't you? Just so we can put it through the business. Are you sure? It could get really expensive. Yes, no arguments. Yeah, it's covered by the health insurance. Thanks, Mrs. Connor. Wow, so someone looks drier than we did this morning. It's not been raining, has it? Oh, Nick had an unexpected shower of his own. Instead of standing around like a bunch of fishwives, how about we do some work? We can multitask, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> So, I suppose, after this morning's little performance, there's not much keeping you in Weatherfield. Sorry? Well, with Leanne knowing everything, there's nothing really to stay for. <laughs> You're still expecting me to sell you my half of this business? Come on, Nicholas. We both know how expensive divorces are. You're going to need every penny you can get. You never mentioned you were coming in. Yeah, I was uh, looking for some notes that I'd left. I'm uh, applying for funding for a uh, research fellowship. Still, doesn't give you the right to just barge in here. You know what? You're absolutely right. I should have asked first. Um, but I'll get out, yeah. Wait. What about your notes? You haven't got them. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I, I couldn't find them, so... You would say, if you needed any help, someone to talk to. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Thanks. Spike dresses up in a Thor costume. Mm-hmm. He's even got this big plastic hammer that he swings around. Apparently, it's like this big thing. People dress up as their favourite superheroes and they go to conventions. Hiya. Hiya. Apparently, Spike likes wearing a Thor costume and swinging a big plastic hammer around. Oh, you're kidding. I love fancy dress. My absolute dream will be a unicorn outfit. <laughs> oh, I could dress up later, spice things up a bit. <laughs> well, what's happening later? Oh, I was going to ask Chesney out for a drink. Yeah, sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. I'll come too if you want. Brilliant. Uh, if that's all right with you. Of course. I'll see if Spike wants to come. Oh, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See you later then. <laughs> So what am I going to say when she asks about the kind of witness? I'm just telling the truth. I can't do that. It'll destroy her. Well, not as much as giving her false hope. Would you rather she found out tomorrow in court? Yeah, you're right. We should tell her how it is. Tell her the truth. Hi, Hiya. Hi, Paula. Hiya. How are you feeling? Oh, how do you think? I'm telling her how we're out about tomorrow, but I'm trying to think positive. You know, I'm doing extra yoga classes to keep mindful. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, I've vacuumed the house and I've dusted all the pictures on the windowsill. Want it nice and perfect for when you come home after the case. What would I do without you? Actually, uh, Sally, there is something that we do need to talk to you about. Oh, God, I knew it. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? No, 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 no. Of course it hasn't. It's just that we haven't for definite found a character witness, that's all. What? 
It's fine, though, because we've got some strong possibilities, haven't we? Oh, OK. Who? I, I, I don't want to say it in case I jinx it, but it's OK. Don't worry, we're going to sort it. Thank you, both of you. It's nice to know that I can count on some people's loyalty. Why don't I leave you two alone for a bit? I'll call the office. It won't be long. Thanks, Papa. Not letting this place get to you, then? No, it's not that. I'm just... I'm really worrying about tomorrow. I mean, what if something goes wrong? But at least I know whatever happens, I'll be in safe hands. Who's hands? Yours, you big lummer. Oh, yes. Cos I look over and I'm starting to panic and there you'll be. My rock. Two white wines. And if you need any help with anything, then you can ask someone who's got a clue. You all right? What can I get you? Uh, actually, I'm meeting Ryan, but I'll um, hang on till he gets here. Bad decision, if you ask me. Why? Well, number one, Ryan will be late for his own funeral, and two, well, Ryan's love of the conversation. Well, you definitely want to drink before that. Fine. Well, I'll have a glass of white wine then, please. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. What? You refusing to serve me now? Well, if you're going to order something that boring, then yeah. Oh, OK. Sorry. Well, what should I be ordering, then? Well, if I was going to take you on a date, I would probably start with a cocktail, something nice and sophisticated like yourself. Really? Well, seeing as though you're not taking me on a date, I'll just stick to the wine. To yourself. <coughs> Who's the other one for? Me, obviously. I'm not going to leave you sat there by yourself, am I? Honestly, it's fine. Ryan will be here any minute. Well, until then, I mean, you get to enjoy my company. Cheers. You're looking glamorous. Am I? Compared to how you usually look, yeah. What are you doing hanging around here? Well, I took your advice. Decided to give it one more go on the dating front. Have you? Oh, good for you. Has he not turned up yet, then? No. Probably stood me up. I tell. Yeah, she's all right, considering. Mainly because I didn't fess up about tomorrow. What about tomorrow? Oh, I told her that I'd try and find her a character witness, but everybody we've thought about is either away or turned us down. Are you kidding? What are you going to do? Don't know. Take the afternoon off and try and find somebody, probably. Well, I'll help you. No, you can't do that. What about your date? You want to ditch him? Again? No, he's fine. I'll find somebody. Gina, I'm Dave. These are for you. A bit past sell-by, but thought that counts. Right. Not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, yeah, a bit. No, it's fine. I've got to go. So, where'd you fancy going? Could always cut to chase and go to mine. I'm joking. I know a nice little pub a few stops from here. A very romantic atmosphere. Oh, really? Go on, take the risk. Go on, then. Well, as far as paint stripper goes, it seems to have slipped down that Um, way. I'm fine, thanks. Hey, why don't I tell you about being boring? Shouldn't you be looking after some of your other customers? Well, I'm looking after you. And anyway, Robert said I need to work on my bedside manner. Well, calling a customer boring wasn't a great place to start. So what would you rather me do? Feed you some cheesy line about how beautiful your eyes are? Saying that they are pretty amazing. Right, well, I don't think Ryan would be too pleased to hear you say that. Yeah, well, Ryan should have got you on time. And anyway, here's what I think. I think we should swerve this place. I might see your house and work on that bedside manner. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Well, you shouldn't have been so late if you didn't want your date getting a better offer. Um, excuse me, nobody got a better offer. Is this why we were being such a prat this morning? You're jealous because of her. Do you know what? That's exactly what it is. Um, hello, I am here, you know. Well, there's got to be some reason why you're behaving like such an idiot. Yeah, well, you know what? You were the one who suggested that families should share everything. I... I've had enough, I'm going. Yeah, good idea. I'll come with you. Bye, Bethany. Nice to see you. You know what, let me know when you're ready to date a real man, yeah? 
Sorry, is that meant to mean something? Well, it's just I thought you might know with a bit more experience and plenty of them from what I've heard. Mate, I don't know what you're on, but you need to seriously watch your mouth. Yeah, well, you know what to do, Ryan, if you don't like it. Sorry about that. If I'd only you up for refurbishment. It's fine. Maybe we should just call it a night. Already? It's the middle of the afternoon. I'll tell you what, my place is only around the corner. Is that still a joke? No, no, I'm being serious. Still got a bottle of Argentinian Malbec left over from my last date. Only took her two glasses to get her in the mood. <laughs> Bargain at twice the price. Hold on, was this your plan all along? Turn the pubs open, then lure me back to yours? What? No, of course not. Do you know what? You can keep your dead flowers. This date's officially over. Oh, don't be like that. You can come back for what a quick one. Relax, OK? It'll be fun. Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, Ryan. I'll make it nice and easy for you. You throw the first punch, yeah? Have you heard this clown? It's all right, Ryan. Have you lost your bottle? You know what? If you have any idea how pathetic you are right Come now... Come on, let's just go. Come on. What you want to do is you're told. No, no, Come on, hey, 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 enough, hey, enough, hey, enough, hey, leave it. What is going on? Ask him, he's the one that started it. Mess with me and I'll end you, Ryan. Not in my restaurant, you won't. Trust me, you have got no idea of what I'm capable of. Ali, shut your mouth. Right, let's go. What's going on? Ask him. I'm so sorry. Stick us another one in there, will you, love? Oh, dear. Somebody don't look happy. Ugh, Sally. <laughs> Promised that I'd find her a character witness for a court case tomorrow. And you haven't? No. Everybody's too busy covering their own backs. Wait, if you like, I could always ask Johnny. I mean, he is a businessman, and he did used to be Sally's boss. Oh, that's true. Mind you, he did kidnap his own granddaughter, didn't he? That's the point. Sir. Ah. Sorry, I'm late. I was trying to iron my shirt and the fuse went. I think I overdid the steam. Oh, I love a man who uses a steam iron. It reminds me of my dad. Why did he do a lot of in the summer? No, his sinuses used to play up. He used it to unblock his passages. Oh, right. No sign of Gemma, then? I uh, just texted to say she's running late. What can I get you? Um, just have an orange juice tar. I'm picking Joseph up from school later. Ah, oh, right, well, keep our seats warm. Will do. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Chess, Chess. I couldn't help noticing how well you two ate me off. Emma? Oh, she's sound. What I mean is, uh, is anything going on? All oh, right. Well, that's the thing. At first, she was just giving me, like, dating tips. But now I reckon she thinks it's for real. What about you? Do you uh, want it to be for real? I don't know, really. I didn't at first. But... <laughs> no. It's right, boy! What about our Gemma? I think that horse has bolted. Hey, you two pack it in or I'll chuck a bucket of cold water over you. <sighs> I'm going to put some tunes on, catch me in a bit. Gina. All right, love, calm down. Where are you? OK, all right, let, you know, calm, calm down, calm down. All right, when, when you finish this phone call, I want you to call the police. Something happened? No, Gina, she's run out on her date, said that he's stalking her. What? I'm going to have to go, her phone's dying. Well, call me if I can do anything. Sorry to see you. You don't mind me dropping in, do you? I just thought I'd uh, take another look at where you'd spent all my money. Sorry? I spoke to my accountant. And between him and my lawyer, it wasn't difficult to piece together how you stole 40 grand from me and sank it into this place. Do you want to give us a bit of privacy? No, not really. It's none of your business. No, I disagree. I think she needs to know exactly what kind of CD con artist she's working with. Oh, I think I've got a fair idea. Do you know the money you stole from me was left to me by my dad? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. OK, I should have told you about that. Oh, there's lots you should have told me. I knew if I could make a go at this place, it'd be a gold mine. I just needed the startup capital, and then I would have paid you back. <laughs> Do you believe any of what comes out of your mouth, or is it all just lies? Uh, it's the truth. Please. You have not said a true word to me since we met. Well, you can save your excuses for court. Oh, and if you think you're holding on to this place, you're not. You'll be lucky to have a roof over your head. Are you ready to talk about selling me your steak, then, yeah? I'd 
rather sleep in a skip. I think it, it looks like you might have to. He was just acting really creepy. And then he started laying into Ryan. I'm telling you, he's got a screw loose. Yeah, he's lucky he didn't rise to it. Right, well, I better go after him. Uh, can you start apologising to that line there? Yeah, I think I'm going to get off as well. Well, you don't have to. Yeah, well, I'm not really in the mood anymore. Um, see you later. So what do you reckon's got into him, then? Ali? Yeah. You tell me. That's just it. I thought, uh, you know, it has to be because of all that Ronan stuff. It has to be. And what do you mean, exactly? Look, it's fine, all right? You told me all about it earlier. Really? Yeah. Well, that's why things kicked off. He asked me, you need to see someone about it. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that. If it ever comes out what Ali did, he's had it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad the evil kid's dead, but I'm not the one that killed him in cold blood. Say that again. What? Hold up, you just said you knew. What? Well, that Ali's a murderer. No, but I do now. No, Ryan, listen, listen to me. It wasn't like... I, I mean, he probably would have died anyway. What, what if... so we just helped him along a little bit? Yeah. He needs locking up. You know what? I'm going to make sure of it. Coronation Street's back in half an hour.